and uh, um, Wags and uh, C-Rect. Uh, Wags has four Dyer points. And uh, we move into the game, actually. We have a draft. C-Rect against We Are Game Lofters. So, Wags has four points, so they are guaranteed to be top two. Um, C-Rect has one point, so if they win this game, they could Five have three remaining. points and uh, they could be second of the group given that Outco and uh, doesn't beat Team Cancer Gaming so um, C-Rect is pretty much Dyer. has to uh, make a result here they have back. to win at least one game otherwise uh, their chances of going through will be really really hindered and uh, we're going to see a uh, first Ban Mirana. Ten seconds remaining. And uh, it's kind of a Five respect ban remaining. because uh, Wags have been very famous to be uh, basing Reserve the whole time. draft on Mirana. They can play it as a core. They can play it also as a roaming support, and uh, they've been very successful with it. <sighs> and uh, Wags Radiant is gonna ban Invoker. Back. Who is still the top one band hero? <laughs> Even though we're missing some stats on the band, we Dyer have all the picks though. Pick. So I guess it's gonna be your first pick ogre. Oh, that's his band ogre. Okay, so people start to realize that ogre is broken, and uh, they're going to ban it. Ten seconds remaining. So. Slada. Pretty cool. And they're gonna first pick Slada. So they're gonna ban the <laughs> the top one picked and take and uh, pick the number two picked. So Slada are very successful. Has a 53% win rate and has been picked a lot of times, 13 Ten times throughout the remaining. the group stages. So five seconds remaining. Pretty good. They're gonna ban the uh, C-Rect is gonna ban the Reserve Warlock. Time. It's also uh, one of the biggest discoveries for me in this tournament. Uh, in this patch, Warlock is pretty strong. I remember discussing this with Twenai uh, a few weeks back. That uh, him, you know all of his kills are good. And. Uh, He has 66% win rate with 12 games. This is huge. It's not in top 5 win rate, but with that many games, it's, it's just insane. So, actually, four of the <laughs> top five picks have, have been uh, pick. picked or banned now. So, they're gonna first pick a bad end. And uh, Baden has a great win rate with uh, 80 percent. So ten seconds remaining. It's funny that a lot of the reactive heroes, five seconds uh, remaining, like a lot of the tanky heroes, have great stats in the tournament. Reserve time. And a lot of the, like the biggest, like team play or you know skill heroes are. Uh, I have a lower win rate, so... Baden, I haven't seen the Baden play that much uh, by uh, Wax. And, uh, I don't know if it's a blocking pick because they studied C-Rect or if it's just uh, they feel comfortable playing this hero. So Baden has been picked four times. And, uh, yes, no, I played five times. Five, four wins pick. in five times. Amazing. And Medusa. Wow. So they have uh, Medusa, who is <laughs> six <laughs> and one. That's Radiant amazing. team back. And uh, actually, Ancient Apparition is not a hero I've seen a lot. It's been played only once in the whole tournament so far. Really cool to see him or her. <laughs> or it, I don't know. Dire team back. Mm -hmm. 
So I, I'm looking at the matches, the previous matches from C-Rex, and looks like they like to run the Shadow Five Demon a lot. Remaining. And uh, it's their first time playing the Ancient Apparition, so Reserve time. I don't know how this is gonna go. I really like this hero. You know, you go Midas on him, get an Aghanims by 25 minutes, and stop wrecking. Um, I don't like it played as a position 5, I think it's not a great position 5, you need a, some farm on this hero <laughs> to be effective and uh, it's really good against back. Roshan, like, it's, you know, it, it works with any kind of lineup, especially with a roaming Slardar, you can um, secure a kill pretty much every time on any hero, but as I say that, of course the Baton and Medusa are not really... <laughs> Easy to gank, but Five I'm sure some of, some of those squishy heroes that gonna, they're gonna, Wax is gonna pick it. Easy to gank. Reserve time. And, uh, there's gonna be a banned faceless void. So if you look at the stats, actually, void is the lowest win rate of all the heroes. He's got 14% win rate. Oh. Uh, one in six, and that's. Dire team back. Steel's teams don't want to play against it, and uh, in fact, Kukuro. Uh, in fact, it's, it's important to note that Kukuro is the only win. Kukuro from Team Se uh, from Secret had the only win. Ten seconds remaining. If I remember correctly, yes, actually Five they lost. seconds remaining. Reserve time. Yeah, no, actually, the first. Anyway, it's, it's banned this game, so they also banned the anti-mage. Um, I think we might see a Sven here, he opens up the way for Sven for Wags. As uh, usually teams ban him, because uh, yeah. Midas plays a, a mighty, mighty Sven, but... We'll see. Radiant team. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're gonna play support, uh, pick a support here. Clockwork. And uh, they go with the offlane clockwork. It's Dire again something they're very comfortable playing. And uh, it's been really successful. And uh, I think only them run it because uh, it's been played three times. And uh, alchemist. Two wins. It's not bad. Radiant team. And an alchemist pick. Huh, crazily enough, um, Alchemist has been played only twice, and uh, one win, one loss. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds huh, remaining. They changed the icons. That's really nice. They don't fix Reserve bugs, but uh, make new icons. It's nice priorities for him from Valve. Volvo, please. So fourth pick, I Ten predict is gonna be remaining. something like a lion. Witch doctor. Oh, witch doctor. Yeah, that makes sense. Dire team pick. Also something they're very comfortable playing, and uh, I really like um, I really like Wags Drive for now. Extremely straightforward. Like they have a lot of sustain and a lot of tanky heroes. Ten seconds so remaining. It's gonna be hard to for Slardar. Five seconds to remaining to find those ganks. But on the other hand, I really like uh, reserve time. The 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 slaughter and AA combo is always always good. And I know we need some kind of uh, carry that can roam around and uh, get some easy kills. TA is still on the pull. Works quite great with uh, with slaughter and AA. I assume that it's uh, mid Medusa for Wax because I think they're gonna pick a strong hitting carry. Either Luna or. I say Draw Ranger might be good here. Draw is still in the pool. 
and uh, I mean Medusa with draw aura is uh, makes up for the low damage that she has at the beginning, remaining. and she just crushes late game. Keeper of the light. They go with the cuttle here. Radiant team back. And, uh, that's great for the stats, man, because they only picked twice so far as well. Dire team back. So they go with unconventional picks, and I like it. I'm really. I, it's funny how C Rex draft is not yet. Ten seconds remaining. Uh, it's still open. Like they, they, they could pick some kind of a Five seconds fa remaining. Uh, farming carry. They can pick um, more of a space maker. Five seconds remaining. And uh, they banned the timber saw because yeah, timber saw plus alchemist is a, is a nasty combo. Drow ranger. And they. And they Go with the drought themselves. Radiant team pick. I did not see that coming, but uh, that's a great counter pick. I mean, blocking picks to make sure that uh, Wax didn't pick it. I think Wax has to go with Luna or Sven here. Remaining. I think Luna fits slightly Five better remaining. because of Keeper of the Light. Luna. Yeah. I predicted correctly. Anyway, uh, that's it, guys. We're gonna go into the game, and uh, and I'm not putting the overlay this time because I don't like this overlay anymore. And uh, it'll be time to introduce our teams. So, with four points on top of this group Prepare A, we have. Wags with the uh, 165 on a Witch Doctor, Tryhard on a Medusa, it's gonna be mid, Midas on this Luna, who's going safe lane, Fun is gonna be on your off lane clockwork, and uh, Tintin on the Aban. And on the side of C Rekt, they have two points. They absolutely need a win here. And uh, if they win 2-0, that would be a tie for the first place, which would be great for them. Uh, and if they lose, they could be in trouble and have to battle for second battle. place. So, Wek Wek will be playing your alchemist maker, who's uh, replacing uh, the captain here as Joker D could not make it. On this draw ranger, lazy on the keeper of the light. Who's gonna see the clockwork here? And uh, how do oxygen? Oh, as I'm saying that, there might there might be a little fight here. It's gonna be five on five action. They go on the, the clockwork. Begins. Nice stun from the slard. Nice cast coming from the witch doctor. And now they might kill the clockwork, but Alchemist is getting really low here. Everybody's getting low, but no one's dying. Abaddon is just running in. He wants to draw kill, but they might go on the Slardar. Nice stun on two, but the Slardar is not what you can run to, man. Oh, he fairy fires. Will that be enough? Ooh. One more hit. Oh, the beautiful salve, but it's not going to be enough. The Clockwork gets the first blood. Bit of a crazy battle here. And uh, Luna decided to <laughs> start farming and not be part of this uh, 4v5 brawl. Bad luck. So, Kukuro is actually going to be playing his Slardar offlane and he's going to be supported by, on and off, by the action apparition who likes to, well, do her own thing. Tintin is gonna help a little on this mid lane, just uh, <laughs> just body block here to make sure that Dooza gets early farm. So this Lockwood matchup, uh, I think he should be quite uh, denied some farm and go bottom lane. Which doctor? 
No, he's not gonna go on him. I think he should be uh, zoned out by the Keeper of the Light Draw and Ranger. the Drowanger combo. I am scarce worthy of your presence. As we hear a nice custom line from Keeper of the Light here. Yeah, here is Slaughter's done. Oh, actually. Uh, he didn't skill the the bash here, so no chance to get a kill on this Witch Doctor, but that's nice harassment. Keeper. Might be a fight for this top room. They really want to secure it, but... Eh, Tryhard is going to deny it. Is he gonna go away with it, though? Yep, the Baton is here, and... Actually, try to go on this AA here. There's a miss from the B2S, so it's gonna be enough. Didn't steal, uh the annoying right clicks and a nice deny it's always good to deny the the bounty runes for alchemist otherwise he can snowball out of control early on and uh, nice reactivity they didn't have a ward but they knew and uh, last hits are pretty dramatic right now I have a dominated by uh, by two of the, by three of the cores for uh, for Wags, and uh, Witch Doctor is doing a lot of of work here to really zone out the the Slardar. Top lane. See, Baden is roaming. He plays this Abaddon just like a Mirana. It's like a Mirana with no arrow, basically. A transitions to the mid. They want to give some support to the alchemist. But look at that. Ding Ding doesn't care. He just blocks the creep wave and uh, really makes space for this uh, Medusa. I was doing a lot of work early on. He's already got 17 last hits. And uh, oh, no deny possible this time. My god, look at how hard the A is hitting. Level 1. Haste! And uh, Hasted Keeper of the Light. He might go back to the top lane here. Actually, drops the mana leak on the Medusa and. They just stand here in the acid spray. Don't give a damn. Those two heroes are so tanky, it's gonna be really hard to gank them. And uh, Tintin going in the early uh, Curse of Vernus point to help. Uh, it basically replaces an Orb of Venom. It's a free Orb of Venom, basically. 8% slow. And, uh, look at that. Slowing Cuttle down, and look at that, he's doing so much damage to him. It's a Boots Cuddle, by the way. But no, you can't run from a Baden, it seems. So I guess the Orb of Venom is, uh... Yeah. It's basically a double Orb of Venom at level 1, that's so nasty. Really good spell. Never also gives you a 15% move speed. So, puts him at 355 already. Level 3, that's not bad. Wax, oh, you see the first hookshot in the game, and uh, he's going to his Ravenger, who should be pretty dead here. Yep. Drow did not respect the, the ultimate of, uh, of Clockwork being available. And there's gonna be fighting the bottom rune. Nice cast, hitting on to Dot. Hitting on to the Maledict, really nice. Now they have to hit, uh, hit back. Nice rocket coming from the Clockwork to help secure the kill. And there's gonna be a kill on the Alchemist. Really nice rotation here. and Nice play from the Witch Doctor to catch two in the Maledict. It's really hard. The, the AoE is really small, so... Props to Witch Doctor on this. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. 
And the Luna, look at this Luna, man. She's already got the Helmet of Dominator, and early on, it's already a 4k gold lead, and it's looking really good for Wags in the early game for those. You lose. Oh, top lane, Clockwork gets another kill on the A this time. And uh, he's really make a lot of usage of his uh of his early levels here. That's really really well done. Boom, there it now. goes. With the with this early level, he's gonna be able to roam, and uh, that might Radiance top tower is under attack. Help share anything there. Radiance lead. structures are fortified. This draw is struggling. She's got even less uh, less hits than uh, and the clockwork. Again, they denied the bounty rune. Yeah. Yep, nice stun to get away of the gank here. From the start of the top lane. <laughs> Clockwork gets yet another kill. On the keep of the light. He's made great usage of his hook shots every single time he gets a kill. That's, that's three times already. Denied. Luna is kind of uh, going out of control here. If you look at the network, three of the cores are farming really well. And uh, we have a pause here. This is perfect. Uh, give me time to check if the sound is okay. Because last, last week we had the sound issues. I realized that after watching the games, I was like, oh man, that's really bad. So, uh, Medusa was doing a lot of work early on. He's already got 17 last hits. Alright! Sounds alright? Perfect. So... It's really up to Sirek to turn the tides here. They, uh... They're losing the three lanes, and... I think this is the moment where Alchemist has to... Uh, jungle. Yes, I'm far. And, uh. Hey, hey should make some stats. <laughs> some stacks. Sorry. And, uh, it looks like uh, it's gonna do right just that. No? No stack? Alright, no stack then. And, uh. They're roaming. Oh, they have a stack here already. Uh, it's gonna TP, defensive TP from the Slardar, try to make something happen here. Trying to catch, nice double crush here on two. And uh, they should be able to kill this Witch Doctor here, he's done. Use that company, drop the ult. Uh, one more hit to kill this keep of blood, yes, it's gonna be enough. But uh, the Alchemist is angry and uh, he'll get a double kill here. That was a bit of a of a misplay to stay and linger in this jungle after the Witch Doctor got killed. So, 2 for 1 and uh, a little bit of, uh, of uh, help for Sirek, who was struggling in this early game. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Uh, Clockwork is on the run. He wants to find another kill, and he already has a blade mail. This is huge. And uh, he can't find anyone, so he might go mid here. Oh, there's the AA. Do they see him? They try. We'll they, take yes, they have vision on the clock where they know where he is, but nice hook shot. He'll be on the keeper of the light. And wow. Look at that. Easy kill for the clockwork. Now my C rotation here. Nope. 
no fight and uh, just a clean kill for the clockwork who's doing really really well 4-0 and, zero and he's actually close to his uh, 4 staff so great early game farm they want to catch the alchemist here but he's all teed up and, uh, he wants to clean those stacks but I'm not gonna let him look at that Look at his show of uh, Oh, they're gonna actually claim the stack for themselves. Look at that. Radiance top uh, they might be a little attack. overconfident here. Medusa is here though. She doesn't Dyer's she has the ultimate. She can drop attack. it anytime. Are they going on this Abad? Can they kill the Abad? Yes they can. Medusa is dropping the ult. Not a dick on the alchemist, but he's got a lot of regen. They should be careful, actually, yeah. They're gonna feed the Medusa kill. Not ideal. And, uh, looks like they might get the switch doctor. They made the stun. Didn't have time to yeah, put the heal, so. Three kills given away. It's a bit of a misplay here, but. If you look at the. Golden XP is gonna help uh, Sirius. Bounce back. It's the game. And uh, they all usually play the 4 versus 5, and uh, one focuses on farm, so. Midas is farming away. He's getting close to his uh, Manta. Oh! Oh, he drops the. Oh my god, the Eclipse, so much damage. It's only an Eclipse level 1, but when he eats on only one person, it's. Wow. So he gets a clean kill here on the Alchemist, who just cut the Bounty Rune, so. Dyer's middle tower is Doesn't under a attack. Of money here. Dyer's structures are and, uh, fortified. Gonna... Oh, nice hook shot on the keeper of the light in the back line, and then he be able to kill him. Yes. And, uh, also get this, uh, is under middle attack. tower. Really nice to done here. Tower has fallen. And uh, this clockwork is six and zero. Look at that. This pick really making a difference in this game, and. Looks like they want to wrap around this uh, this draw ranger here. I'm actually get the Korea. Out. They realize something's up, even though they have no wards. But, uh, can they catch? Yep. Start with the cask. Follow up with the maledict. Nice gush here, but I don't think it's gonna be able to save her. She gets slowed down. Another kill for Clockwork. Is not seven and zero. And it looks like uh, Luna also cleaned the, the bottom tower. Well, this is happening. Oh my god. Top tower is this is not a good trade. Two towers for nothing. And uh, she finished the uh, the Dragonlance. And she's gonna go with Fomenta now. And, uh, Curse of Avernus level 2. Top is under it also top affects towers. Top I did not fallen. know that. So. Reduces the, the attack, I mean, slows down the attacks of the towers as well. Pretty nifty. So, this alchemist, he has to find some farm here. He's about 1k gold away from the relic, and so 2k gold away from the. Ooh, they missed the hookshot here. They had vision. Dyer's top tower is under thanks to attack. this uh, sentry ward, but. Yeah, they drop the cask and the maledict on the A, but four heroes are here. And you're gonna have to back here. Yep. But uh, Dusa is just happily is pushing this top tower. And uh, it's already down to 50% health. Uh, they are gonna get this uh, witch dog to kill. Radiant structures are fortified. The Drow have one less enemy now. But the Duza is already gone, and the damage on this tower is done already. Uh, this gust is, uh, tower is under attack. Maxing gust, really interesting. No point in frost arrows. Oh, the first time I see this. Why, wow, this should have gust level 4 is, uh. Oh, and they're going on to the Prada here. They might get the kill. 
Gotta get him. Actually missed still. Stun on the clockwork. But it's more of her space making stun than killing potential. And as I was saying, uh, 0 0.9 knockback duration is really interesting to max this. <laughs> the pings coming out from the end of the bridge and saying like, this is the ward! The ward! Not sure you can do ward, bro. There's three heroes of the Radiant here. Oh, and he missed the... Oh, he actually gets it! On Keeper of the Light, and it's gonna be another dead. Keeper of the Light. Drop the Maledict. Nice gust to stop the Witch Doctor ult, but... Is the Maledict gonna be enough? Nope. They're gonna claim this top tower, and uh, this is where the draft of uh, Wax is really coming into play. Uh, they still have the Lina as a backup, you know, as a backup solution, but I'm not sure it's gonna be needed here because even the Dusa is doing great. She's got, she went for early, uh, early Maelstrom. And, uh, that increases her damage. It's a bit. Uh, I guess she'll go for. Uh, the Mjolnir, which is a lot of damage, and oh, he Alchemist made his relic, so it's quite near from his uh, Radiance, but it's gonna be not a great timing for the Radiance. You kind of want to have it before 12, 13 minutes, and now five minutes later, and uh, those heroes are gonna be pretty tanky, and you're gonna see uh, BKBs coming out. I mean, Luna, she could build the BKB next, but I don't think the needs now is there now. She's gonna go for Manta first. But uh, not a good timing Dyer's for the Radiance and now. Black is pushing and they Clockwork is trying to find a target in the meantime, but Dyer's taste it up. He might get caught here. Okay, he's double shot on the star guy. Look at this damage. It's only him. With the blade mail and he gets the kill again, godlike for Clockwork. He got this tower Infinity. as well. Dyer's middle tower is under Bone Bench is now 12k. And we might see the first fight for Lina for Luna. He's got Eclipse up and if you look at the at the hero levels um yeah, thirteen she's level thirteen, she's got Two levels on the alchemist and eight levels on this AA. So it's gonna be very difficult to to kill at this point. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. And, uh, gonna push this bottom tower here. There's nothing you can do. Is there radiance? There's not a radiance yet. He's gonna get it with his last. It was next uh Next wave of creeps here, but damage is already done. Has As Wax is actually pushing on this uh, bottom lane, there's no tier one left, no tier two left. And now it's up to their base. The map control is uh, it's really high. There's a nice push here on the top lane, nice huge wave. Radiance and, top uh, this should be an easy top lane. Uh, top, tower top tower who is going to secure his uh, radiance but while this is happening Wax is claiming Roshan <sighs> it's too late for T-Rex to contest and with this Roshan looks like they are not going to wait and they're going to push this top lane and uh, transition to what I'm guessing uh, a high ground push coming soon. And, uh, she's got the Manta already. That is a scary looking Luna. And, uh, nice pickup for the Abaddon mechanism. And gonna help negate that damage from the uh, Radiance. And uh, make this with Doctor a little bit more tanky. Who's uh, been doing quite well actually. I'll die too many times and got four assists already. So this Dusa is going for the Manta as well, so with two Mantas 
actually he has the Manta, he's just on the career. I think they should commit to this uh, high ground push here. Because I don't think there is anything that could stop stop them at this point. They have to realize they have the advantage. Nice, eliminate. It's gonna hit on soon, but... Nice hook shot on the Stardar again, and he's gonna be dead one more time. Nice A ult though. She gets the kill. He gets the kill. What cost though? Cuttle is dead and it was a nice boost of gold, you know, from the draw ranger to get the uh, the kill streak of the clockwork. But look at that. Menta up. It's gonna be a tree tower for free. And look at those racks. The racks are melting to the Luna glaives. Oh my god! And you're gonna get the clean land racks here. 21 minutes, wow. Has and uh, yeah, it looks like they're not going to wait. And it goes to this mid lane here, and there's no backdoor protection. Now, they actually decide to back, and uh, I think it's like here to put this tower. And they're in complete control of this game. If you look at the gold now, it's more than 15 and 15k and 10,000. I think uh, T Rex, you have to ana analyze uh, this game and maybe provide a, a better strategy for the next game because look at this clockwork, man. He's uh, 2.3k gold, I mean, he's 1.3k gold away from the Aghanims and did not have time to finish his boots here. He got so farmed. So fast. And it's off. Oh, they get super nice vision there on those four heroes and Dyer's middle tower. Tuza and Luna, top. man, those two can push so Radiant fast. Look at that tower top. melting it's away. Oh, and that's gonna drop the ult here. It's gonna be a clean double kill. And it's gonna be away though. Switch really low. Really nice ulti from the AA. He killed the Duza once and managed to get the kill on the Witch Doctor, but she turns back. Duza is angry. Oh, and the Alex is gonna sun himself. Radiance bottom tower but it won't fall up. Really nice ult from the AA to get the kill there on the Witch Doctor and at least force the Luna back. That was, it was a great defense, they don't lose the tower. And now uh, they have the bot some time. Now what they're gonna do with this time, we don't know, but at least they got some time. And uh... Tusa going... Full retard here. No time for buyback, no money for buyback. She gets the Mjolnir directly and... This is gonna really increase her damage output. As she's going to the top lane here. They have vision. Actually, they don't have vision. I didn't do it. Sorry, my bad. I clicked the wrong ward. Uh, they're going on this drop here. here. Nice hook shot. Start the fight. Then it's gonna be nice hook from the AA, and it should be the kill on this. Uh, about to pop. Actually, the sustain from the Witch Doctor is so high that actually it's, it's a Gordon Graves picked up on that. Bad in that. So nice DA here, and uh, now they're committing to push on this on this top tower, and there's a on this middle tower, and there's a nice uh, crush on two. But uh, still on Luna, but uh, sustain is so high from the Wish Doctor. Look at that. Nice turn on three from the Slardar. From the A is it gonna hit? It hits on three. That's really nice. Can they kill the Duza? I think they can kill the Duza here. Oh, is she gonna clip? Oh, the Garden Greaves so clutch. Yeah, no one dies. Oh my God, the Luna got killed though. But uh, again, the AA is holding, holding their hopes here. Each A ult is doing so much damage. And uh, push them back. Pretty nice and uh, really nice, uh, really nice uh, 
jump in from the slaughter as well. He gets uh, at least two or three main crush every time. That's really nice to set up the ultimate of the AA, but they're gonna need to make a little bit Look more happening go. and let's take a look at our alchemist. He's got boost of travel now. 2.4k gold. That two fights really helped him to uh, to get back on farm. And uh, if they get a couple more fights going this way and try to defend their racks and get a bit more gold their way, this could potentially turn back but uh, again, Slaughter's gonna get caught by the clockwork here. And then I drop the ultimate, and she's angry. She gets the kill. On the Draw Ranger, and now those racks are exposed, and. And what's that you can defend? Oh, look at that! This Luna is hitting so damn hard, she picked up the butterfly already. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. And without the drow, without the slaughter, it looks like uh, you're gonna be able to hit this, uh, this last Lenorax and they push uh, push Siric back and back to well. And look at that, those racks exposed now and looks like it's gonna be Mega Cruise. Nice ulti again from the AA here. But it won't be enough. And Radiant declaring Mega Creeps and. Uh, Oh, nice stun to ki catch the all oh, but his team was not there to follow up and wait, it's another hook shot. Yeah, he's got agonims already, my god. And every 10 seconds. Are they going to go on this, uh, again on the draw ranger and another hook shot coming. Yeah, this agonim is doing so much work. Ultimate from the witch doctor. Uh, yep, yeah, it's dead. It's a full team wipe, if guys. You back, I'll kill you again. Uh, with Megas up, Dyer's middle it's going to be GG. Nice ultimate from the air. Oh, yes, he clips the push, Doctor. Well, that's it, guys. It's going to be your first game. And uh, it's going to be a uh, GG 25 minutes. Really nice display, 28 minutes, sorry. Really nice display coming from uh, from Wags. Uh, stay tuned as uh, we will... Um, as we will... Uh